Shopify live product options setup. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up the product options into your Shopify store and how you can preview them in front of you. So it is a very simple uh, process. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you're going to be good to go. So the first thing that you need to do is to head over shopify.com, sign in into an account within this platform. It is going to be a very easy step. After that, you are going to get the access to the admin dashboard. As you can see here, we have the admin dashboard of ours. And here, do not forget to add the product that you want. For example, you are going to add here a product. Uh, go ahead and add the shipping methods and also the payment method right there. So you are going to get the collection of the benefits and also your money. But there, once you have did all of this, you're going to type in on the search bar of your Shopify store and set up your live uh, here product option. So there is a difference between the product option and also the live product options. So both of them are going to give the customers the experience to have some options into the products, but the live product option is going to let the customers see the uh, product or the modification or of the option that they have set. Either it is going to be here uploading an image to a design or a t-shirt, uh, setting up a color, setting up a text or whatever modification in real time preview. So they are not going to see that uh, specific um, add on that they have added to the product until the product they will arrive at their home. So they are going to see it live. So right there, we're going to see a bunch of apps, but when it comes to live product option, you're going to get this LPO. So we are going to click on it. Then we are going to install it. Here, this one, as you can see, you are going to get the live preview. So the product image changes with option selection, support for interactive positioning, interactive text preview with text editor, interactive image preview, and upload button. So this is the best choice that you can get on the app store of Shopify. So I'm going to install it. So once you are going to be here, we are going to wait for the access of the app. So we are going to set it up. Now I'm going to pin this app to the navigation. So we are not going to lose it by the time that we are going to fill up the apps. So basically we are going to here uh, choose the plan that will suit, you, uh, suit us. So I'm going to select the first one because we are going to get here a 14 day trial, a free trial. I'm going to approve here the subscription. So also you can go ahead and cancel the subscription whenever you want as uh, soon as you are not going to complete the 14 uh, free trial. So as you can see here, we are going to select the theme that we are going to install the app to. Basically we are going to use the DOM theme here. I'm going to enable the app in the theme editor by clicking on this button. And normally it will open up the theme editor. So we are going to get the embedded app. So it does exist. It, it does exist. And this is it. This is just an error. I'm going to set up the app from here. Now we are going to click on save. Boom. Here we have added the app. And as you can see, we have the box of the live product option. I'm going to close this window. Now we are going to head over the next step. We're going to set up the email address to receive support communication and to be notified. For example, here, I'm not going to add that, but I'm going to set up this one instead. All the emails that I am using or that are appearing in this video or any video in our channel uh, is or are only set up for the sake of the tutorials and not used for any personal uses. So make sure that you have understood this assignment and use your own information. 
for the app language you are going to use here whatever uh, language that you want here we have uh, three only languages i'm going to choose english click on next here we have set up the app i'm going to set up the product option and here we are going to set up the description for example private internal description we're going to set up here live option for example for uh, here we have the product targeting you are going to set up here either a single product or multiple products so you are going to choose whatever product that you want for example if you have multiple ones in my case i'm going to choose only one product because i have only one product existing in my store Click on here. Here we have the intro or the video tutorial from YouTube from the developers. So I'm not going to see that. I'm going to let you see what we can do. Here for the status, I'm going to set it as active. Now for the options, you are going to add the options. You can either add a standard option or add a group of options. So basically here, Type, for example it is going to be something if it is going to be a text a drop down a font a image swatcher or whatever so let's start by adding the most uh, well-known one which is going to be uploading a design or a photo for the configuration we're going to set it up here it is going to be called upload so the name we are going to set up your uh, picture, option label, picture, upload, boom. Now we are going to set it as required if uh, it is not going to be here a, um, let's say a empty design. The value, initial value of the option, I'm not going to set it up but in case it is going to be demanding that i'm going to set it later the button text you're going to set up here choose a file this is the standard and most uh, set up one the max allowed file size is going to be 10 megabytes or for example 5 it is going to be logical to add 10 depending on the picture or the quality of the picture the allowed file types is going to be images not a pdf so uh, here we can add some conditions. For example, we can add a condition or not. Uh, here for the add group, you can go ahead and add a group of specific whether uh, options. I'm not going to add a group, but I'm going to add another option, which is going to be here, either a text, for example, a number, a select option, a radio, a color, for example, I'm going to add a color. We have here the name, which is color. I'm going to copy that label color required. Yes, it is going to be required. Now we are going to add some values. For example, this is the uh, color initial value of the, the option. For example, we are going to choose the white one. This is the initial. You can go ahead and set up the um, the colors from here the value you can go ahead and let them just select here the uh from rgb i don't know here are the options you can add some condition also and for the third option we are going to see here that we have a lot and a lot so here we have personalized image library uh let's say we have also dimensions in case you are going to set up a personalized dimensions or um let's say here set up for very very personalized items and also you can go ahead and set up the text i'm going to add here a text here text to print so i'm going to copy this Put it here this value required or not it doesn't matter value i'm going to let it as it is and boom for this design setting you can go ahead and set up some option style like these fonts or the input colors the icon or info icon color and etc we have some css coding that we can go ahead and set 
also some JS or JavaScript uh, right there custom that you can add here. I'm going to enable the live preview. So you are going or the viewer will see here the live preview that you are going to add right there. So you can go ahead and set up here the main dimensions, or save preview image with order. I'm going to let that, for example, with the thumbnail or, or the original. We're going to set up the product or you can go ahead and add another layer, for example. I'm going to remove that. Boom. This is the uh, live preview setup, as you can see on this video. You can add, for example, another view if you want. And boom, here we have everything set up. Now I'm going to click on save. And here we have set up everything. Now. We have also on the app some assets from library, as you can see, we have some templates. You can add some uh, templates like these. These are predefined uh, templates or preset templates for necklaces, as you can see, t-shirts, uh, phone cases, whatever, shoes, colors, and etc. You can use or you are free to use these templates if you want and if you do not want to use them it is okay we're going to see here the orders or the orders synchronize with the store orders also and now i'm going to visit my store i'm going to click on online store select theme click on customize and you are going to set or see the product that we have i'm going basically right there to visit this product which we have added this and as you can see, we can go ahead and choose a color, for example, like that. And also we can add a picture that is going to be uploaded right away. So I'm going to try and add a picture and also a text, for example, hello, like that, text, hello. And normally the uh, live reviewer will let you see it in here. So it is not set yet, but it is okay. It will show up with the time that you have set up everything from here. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next.